So MAGA communism, it's a new niche pseudo political ideology that I've seen lately. And I absolutely love it. I think it's one of the greatest things to manifest from the internet in a really long time. Not only because it's fun to laugh at, but because I like to see the reaction from, from other people as they learn about MAGA communism. And we'll get to what it is in a second here. I just love... <laughs> So this was shared by uh, Skeptical Spice on Twitter. Spreading MAGA communism over on Truth Social seems to be going well. Okay, you've got to see this reaction here. This is exactly what you wouldn't expect unless you've spoken to Trump supporters, okay? I know Trump supporters. There are MAGA chuds in my family, aunts and uncles who are Trump loyalists. If you were to propose communism to them in any form, MAGA communism, fascist communism, they're not going to take kindly to it. So, like, for example, I talked about this on Twitter, but if you told my uncle, my MAGA chud conspiracy theorist uncle, uh, about communism, he would not only call you the F-slur, but then accuse you of being possessed by the devil. That's the reaction that you will elicit when you bring up communism to these folks. They don't like communism. They don't know what it is. Neither do MAGA communists, obviously, but they don't know what it is, but they know it's bad, right? So, um, okay, so let's take a look here at how well the... Uh, proselytizing of MAGA communism is going over on Truth Social. MAGA is communism. Check out Infrared Show. Um, so this person responded, there really isn't enough eye rolls for you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> MAGA and communists have the same goals. Oh my god. They're like diametrically opposed. But anyway, uh, this person says, the stupidity is overwhelming. <laughs> you don't understand communism at all. If you say to be anti-democrat is communist, none of your posts makes a damn bit of sense. Uh, I love how like the left uh, and real communists are teaming up with MAGA ironically to dunk on MAGA communist dipshits because that it's so stupid. Almost everyone collectively is laughing at this. Uh, we need MAGA with communism <laughs> characteristics. No, we don't. Why not? Pretty simple answer because fuck communism and every other collectivist philosophy. I mean, this is what you this is this is what you get. Did they not expect this? I need to make a Truth Social account, by the way. Uh, Cheryl, so you're for communism? Yes, ma'am. MAGA communism. <laughs> well, you know the old saying goes, uh, "A good commie is a dead commie fucking traitor." What did you expect? Did you expect anything different? I swear to God, these folks have never spoken to normal Americans ever. These Nazbol people, people like Jimmy Dore who have been trying to cultivate this red-brown alliance forever. Not that Jimmy Dore is associated with like this mega communism stuff, uh, but we'll talk about that. But like these people who always try to form these red-brown alliances, they don't actually understand what these people's belief systems are. A lot of these people are apolitical, but the really tried and true like MAGA Kool-Aid drinkers, they do not fuck with any form of communism, socialism, by definition. You are their enemy. So trying to pitch MAGA communism like it's going about as well as you'd expect it, right? It'd be like if I tried to pitch atheist Christianity where I'm an atheist, but I'm a true atheist because I align with Christians. And on top of that, I go to church every single Sunday and I follow Christ. But I'm an atheist Christian and a true atheist Christian. Like, this is the way that they're presenting this. You're not a real communist unless you're a mega communist. And anyone who's a non mega communist is like warping the message of Marx. It's genuinely like psychotic bullshit. And this is not going to appeal to anyone unless they have an IQ in like the single digits. But I love it so much. And I hope that this continues to trend on Twitter. I hope that they don't stop talking about this because it's so funny to see these types of reactions. I'm going to ask you again, what communist country were you in? I want nothing to do with a commie. He is not American, Cheryl. Okay, so I mean, that's the response. Now, what exactly is MAGA? communism well as jason hinkle is going to explain it this is what it stands for it's a giant list now first of all communism in and of itself isn't necessarily a list of policy priorities as it is a way to govern society and the world but apparently it's just this wish list of uh things that they want so uh not all of these are bad to be fair i support cutting the military budget um, other things, pardon Assange and Snowden. Okay, that's great. Uh, pardon January 6th protesters. No, I don't support that. Um, subsidizing gyms in every community. I mean, okay, I'm not opposed to that. Sure, I think that that's a great way to promote community health. 
But would that be better than, uh, say, Medicare for All? No, and Medicare for All is not on this list. Now, this is my favorite part about all of this. This is how self-defeating it is. Arrest George Soros, Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates, Fauci, and all Epstein associates and criminals. If you were to arrest all Epstein associates and criminals, the MAGA movement itself, it implodes because it is a movement that is associated with Donald Trump exclusively. Who is one of Epstein's associates who was on the flight log like multiple times? Donald J. Trump. So do you understand why this is like incoherent and why MAGA and communism, these are deeply incompatible ideologies here? And I love this one, like no open borders. Yes, because communists historically have been very, very strong proponents of closed borders. Like if you read Lenin, and I'm not a political theorist by any stretch of the imagination. I'm more of a comparative political scientist thinker, right? I look at electoral engineering, so theory has never been my strong suit. But, like, this shows that, like, Jason doesn't know the basic tenets of this ideology that he purports to subscribe to, right? So, no open borders. Read Lenin's State and Revolution. It talks explicitly about how the state is used as a tool of oppression of the working class. Like, they're state abolitionists, right? So to say no open borders, that suggests you want a strong uh, state. You want, you know, a national identity. You, you believe in territorial integrity. You know, when that's that's misrepresentative of communism in and of itself. So it's very it's very weird and, and stupid. And when it comes to dismantling Big Pharma, why not just nationalize Big Pharma? That's what should be done anyway. Um, maybe there's like a nationalized Big Pharma somewhere. I see nationalized Big Tech. Uh, but also dismantle big tech. So you want to nationalize big tech and dismantle big tech. This is why I love this because it's just, it's so fucking stupid that you can't not laugh at it. And to be clear, folks, MAGA communism is just fascism. Functionally, that's what it is. This is not communism. <laughs> this is, this is just fascism and non-compete released a really lengthy video talking about this. And that was really my first exposure to this. And I thought, Holy shit, this is dumb, but I love it. Like, it's one of those train wreck situations where you can't help but watch. Like, it's so good. Now, MAGA communism is so fucking stupid that even Jimmy Dore doesn't seem sold on it. So he posted this video to his channel. Can MAGA communism unite the left and the right? Um, first of all, no. But what he's going to do is he's going to have a debate between uh, Jason and some other guy. And they're going to talk about um, the costs and benefits of MAGA communism. And you're going to see that Jimmy Dore not necessarily sold because even Jimmy Dore knows if we're going to form an alliance with the right, which Jimmy Dore has long advocated for, like you're just going to scare them off by saying you're a fucking communist. <laughs> it's, again, it's such an oxymoron. It's like saying I'm a gay straight. I don't know that the, 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 the term is a little rough. Jason went on uh, OAN and the host was like, I don't think you're a communist. And Jason was like, no, I am. Because I don't think you're a communist, Jackson. Well, I actually am a communist, but at the end of the day, not buying it. If conservative fascists like OAN hosts can see through your bullshit, everyone knows that this is a grift, right? It's a transparent grift and it's a bad grift. Jason may be the biggest grifter, uh, Perhaps besides Dave Rubin, like, I don't know. I think he might be worse than Dave Rubin because Dave Rubin, as brazen and craven as he is, he at least went from being a liberal who was the liberal guy who from a leftist perspective critiqued the left. That is much more useful for propaganda purposes. But if you want to grift on the right, you can't come to uh, come at it from this angle of, oh, hey, I'm a communist because they're immediately going to disqualify everything that you say because they don't like communists. But I'll go ahead and watch some of this. This is really long. It's like 16 minutes, but let's watch some of the debate here. Now, Jackson, there's been a lot of controversy as of late. Oh, about... Jackson. Excuse, I, I've been calling him Jason. Jackson. Doesn't matter, though. So I want you to tell us what is, because no one can really define what it is. And the people who seem to like to talk about it the most won't talk to you directly about, about it. So I want you to... I mean, what's the implication is we need clarification. It's not a real thing, and it's fucking stupid. Like, do we have to go to these uh, scholars of mega communism to try to uh, gauge what the fuck this is? No, it's just dumb shit.
It's just so that's why people aren't talking to him about this, and nobody takes him seriously. What what is MAGA communism? MAGA communism is an idea that I I didn't come up with. Uh, Haas of the Infrared Show, who we we went out to dinner in L.A. together. He's a good guy. He I remember Haas. I remember Haas. Yeah, so he came up with it. The idea is that. A lot of the left in America right now is not aligned with us on the issues that matter most when it comes to uh, defeating big tech, nationalizing big tech, protecting uh, free speech, abolishing the CIA, the FBI, going against the endless wars. Uh, well, maybe if you got out of your right wing bubble, you would see that the left actually has been leading the charge on these issues. But I mean... This is a right-wing grifter who is just grifting to MAGA, and this MAGA communism shtick will last for maybe a little bit. Um, he's getting a lot of clicks off of it, but like within a couple of years, he's just going to be a right-winger because that's where all the money is. Like If you are somebody, like as he admitted, only cares about clout exclusively. I did it for the clout. I do everything for the clout. Yes. You will never see me do something well, not for the clout. The that's the only way I That is the only way I if you're that person, you're not going to be in the leftist sphere for very long because there's not much clout to be had. You're not going to blow up. You're not going to get Fox News appearances as a leftist. Ask yourself this question. Why are there no right wingers who try to grift the left and they identify as uh, right wingers and conservatives, but they use nothing but leftist talking points and pander to the left? Why is that not a thing? It's because the left has no fucking money and no power and no influence. So if you really only care about clout and making money, then it's only natural that you eventually grift to the right because that's where all the money and opportunity lies. So that's what we're seeing here. This is like the Dave Rubin grift, just like put on 10 times speed, right? That's all this is. And it's so transparent, which is why I say this has got to be the biggest grifter uh, even more so than Dave Rubin, because at least Dave Rubin was a little bit more subtle for a few years. But this guy, like, he was a resistance liberal, like, uh, I don't know, a couple years ago. And all of a sudden now he's uh, pro-MAGA. He was one of those forced to vote people who now isn't championing Medicare for all. It's just, it's truly, yeah, terminally online brain rot. That's what this is right here. This is peak brain rot. Uh, these sorts of things, going against big pharma, big agriculture, they kind of run in line with the average Democratic Party sentiment. And the working class, which not in its entirety, but I would say in large part makes up the MAGA movement, uh, is aligned with communists on this issue or, you know, it, leftists, whatever. Uh, but there definitely is a strong line that can be drawn between Marxists and, and MAGA on this very issue or on these very issues. And at the end of the day, I think that what we've seen undoubtedly from the Trump administration in their four years is that it was either um, consciously or in some cases unconsciously doing the bidding of the deep state. We saw that countless times throughout the Trump administration. So I see it as the goal of this project. So if Trump is doing the bidding of the deep state, why would you want to align with him? Wouldn't that make you a deep state shill? This is supposed to be the definitive explanation of mega communism. That's what Jimmy Dore asked him. Like, what is mega communism? And this is the guy who didn't necessarily create MAGA communism, but popularized it. I think that you, you can credit him with that. But like this example is fucking brain dead. Like you need a really concise, clear definition if you're going to try to promote a new ideology. But come on. He knows what he's doing here. Of MAGA communism to be able to highlight the contradictions between the oligarchical ruling class and the working class movement itself that is MAGA and trying to uproot the liberalism and globalism and neoconservatism that's finding its way within. This motherfucker is a buzzword machine, goddamn. If we did like buzzword bingo, you'd get a bingo within 30 seconds. He He's going to be, look, he's going to be great on the right because he will get a lot of appearances because he knows how to play their greatest hits. He has every buzzword globalist, neoliberalism, like all this shit. No substance, though, but a lot of good buzzwords that will play with the right-wing audience. Uh, MAGA party politics. So that's the broad goal. Uh, it's not an effort to uphold fascism or the duopoly, as some of those people may have put it, our detractors. But it's uh, been trending on social media for the past week. It won't stop, and a lot of people are talking. Yeah, globalists in brackets. Yeah, that's, that's a very suspicious 
word there. MAGA supporters are actually talking about it and they think it's a great idea. So that's pretty much no, it. No, they don't. They don't. I just showed you they don't. They think it's a fucking stupid idea. And they said the only good commie is a dead commie. Maybe I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to say it. Fascists don't like commies. They hate commies. They want to kill commies. So to think that you can align with them is just insane. It's like fucking hens trying to align with foxes. So this is basically a lefty's outreach to uh, Trump supporters to join on the things, the uh, the issues that your <laughs> your views align. Is that what exactly. you're saying? Exactly, but stink. <laughs> Jimmy's brain is almost going to be broken from this because Jimmy doesn't really know how to process this information because Jimmy Dore does not know what communism is. Um, so he's trying to like figure out, okay, wait, what are you saying? Cause like Jackson didn't give a cohesive, uh, definition of communism to begin with. So Jimmy's like, wait, so I'm still confused. And you could see like the cogs turning in his head. Uh, and he's right to be confused because it's fucking stupid. Like in this instance, to his credit, Jimmy Dore is not the dumb one. Like this is the dumb one right here. Even Jimmy Dore is very clearly not sold. ...to it and exposing people like Ron DeSantis who, you know, might be courting a right-wing populist following through the politics that he's putting forward as governor of Florida. But at the end of the day, someone like Ron DeSantis does not differ at all. I don't, why is Ron DeSantis not part of the MAGA movement? It makes no sense whatsoever. Why is Trump and the MAGA movement specifically something that communists can align with, but not Ron DeSantis? Like, make that make sense from the you know rhino republicans he is a rhino republican when it comes to the most important issues and i'm sure that the republicans who love ron DeSantis are going to take a fucking communist's word as to who is and isn't a real republican come on no right wingers are gonna support they're gonna laugh you out of the room policy uh and, and his views on the intelligence community so being able to highlight those contradictions now <laughs> what do you say to the critics well first of all let me bring in craig uh, Pasta. Now, um, what do you? What, what are your feelings about MAGA communism? Well, first off, I want to say that I don't think it's disingenuous. I just think it's completely wrong. You know, I I go to a lot of okay. Well, credit where it's due, but it is disingenuous. It's very clearly a grift, and you, if you can't see that, you're very naive. Election integrity events, and right now those are filled with MAGA people out there because they feel they were, you know. Uh, no. So, okay, we're in this situation. MAGA communism is so fucking stupid that somebody who goes to election integrity events, i.e. he's like a stop the steal guy, um, that he is outsmarting the MAGA communist. Like, that's how fucking stupid MAGA communism is, where a right wing stop the steal guy is like, mm, MAGA communism sounds kind of fucking stupid, bro. I don't know about that. Holy shit. This is why. MAGA communism is a gift, and I really hope that um, it keeps it keeps like trending. I hope that he keeps trying to push this because it is a content goldmine. Done wrong in the last election, so that is why uh, I, I get to speak with a lot of MAGA people, uh, and it's just diametrically opposed to each other. When you go to these yeah. events, and you okay, so. To be clear and to be fair to him, if he's actually talking to real Trump supporters, he probably has a more accurate perception of the ways that they think. Like this motherfucker, like I don't know much about him, but I know he's in like a privileged community. Uh, so like if you haven't talked to these people, then you can fill in the blanks, right? You can ascribe all of these characteristics to them. Oh, well, well you know, the average MAGA person, you know, they're not this foaming at the mouth fucking chud who's a psychopath who wants to kill lefties. Like, it's just a normal factory worker. And sure, that's the case in, in many instances. But, like, talk to the true Kool-Aid drinking MAGA chuds. And you will understand why MAGA communism is not going to land with them at all. Like, again, talk to my cousin. Talk to my uncle. I, I could fucking connect this motherfucker with my uncle. You want to talk to a real Trump supporter? This motherfucker is as MAGA as it gets. My uncle, like... He'll get two minutes into the conversation and immediately start shitting his pants when you bring up communism. I swear to God. So, like, I just, I beg these people, like Jimmy Dore and Jason, to talk to actual Trump supporters if you want to align with them so much. And you'll learn real quickly 
how unreasonable so many of them are. Not to mention that, like, you're framing this MAGA movement as a working class movement, and there are many working class people who support Donald Trump, but overall, most Trump supporters are affluent. They have money. January 6th people, it took money to get to the to the Capitol. These are small business owners like petite bourgeoisie. Uh, so I just, their whole um, concept of this alliance, MAGA communism, is built on a false perception of Trump supporters. Like, he at least knows, mm, yeah, they're not going to go for that. And that's common sense. Like, you shouldn't need to be told that they're not going to go for that because it's common sense. But still, like, his perception is more accurate than his perception. Here are a lot of MAGA people. Nine times out of ten, their number one enemy is communism. They'll say it all the time. Oh, yeah. Marxism, communism, that's the problem. Even more Absolutely. than China, even more than Bill Gates and our good buddy over there, uh, Jeff Bezos, or any type of oligarch. This is the thing they fear most. Oh, and, and I, end- I forgot. I think that, like, on that list, I remember it saying something like align with China on the tenets of MAGA communism. If you think that conservatives are going to align with China, I don't. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's just, it's so, it's so fucking stupid. Like, I'm losing IQ points talking about it. We're all losing IQ points talking about it, but it's worthwhile because I think that the entertainment value is much more important than our sanity and intelligence. So let's just keep watching. Hey, they feel that Marxism, and I honestly feel that a lot of communists in the United States, people who call themselves communists, I believe they're mostly cappuccino communists, I call them that. I don't, I don't think disagree. they really understand what communism is, like Jackson does and some of our friends. Okay, okay, and I do disagree with that. He brings up cappuccino communists, and he's like, I think a lot of people who identify as communists don't really know what communism is, unlike Jackson, who definitely knows. You had me until you credited one of the founders or the popularizer of MAGA communism with knowing what communism is. MAGA communism is when we subsidize gyms but don't guarantee healthcare. Brilliant. You've probably read about theory and, and angles and all these other people, but they feel If you did, then that... read it again, bitch, because you haven't, you haven't <laughs> absorbed the information. It's a complete opposite of what they're trying to achieve. They are capitalists through and through. They believe exactly, in choice, and they believe that Marxism I, and com- okay. I'm pausing it like every two seconds. I hate that MAGA communism is so dumb that I'm agreeing with the stop the steal conspiracy theorist. If you make me agree with somebody like this, fuck you. <laughs> That's how you know it's a stupid ideology, right? Communism is the exact opposite. So when you are around. MAGA people, you'll you'll know right off the bat. You know, I yeah kind of, uh, sent a friend a link today, saying that I'm going to be on uh, Jimmy Dore with my good friend uh, Jackson Hinkle, and we're going to be talking about MAGA communism. And they were like, "What the heck is that?" You know, they've never heard about it before. Uh, so, number one, I don't think it exists at all. Number two, uh, even though we are desperate for some type of unity with the working class, we need to stay away from labels. You know, you guys say it all the time. You know, when you're building a coalition of working class people, you don't ask who's a communist, who's a Marxist, who's a capitalist, who's a Trump supporter, who's a Democrat, who's a Republican. Labels only separate us. It's when we. Move- okay, I've just got to stop right here. Jason is getting blown the fuck out by this individual. It's not very difficult to dismantle this idea of mega communism because it's so incoherent, it's so badly defined that it doesn't take much to dismantle it. So what he's saying here, a thousand percent true. And we're going to skip it, skip ahead here because like we're five minutes in and I'm pausing it every two seconds and I don't want this to be like a 45 minute uh, hour long segment. So yeah. Labels and come together on our common goals and the working class and our economic struggles, then we can bring it together. This to me is just something that can be used to weaponize and divide us even more. Um, so even though we are desperate some, for some form of coalition, I just think this whole thing is just definitely non-existent and it is a way of separating us even further. Um, so Jackson, what do you say to that? Okay, I'm not going to get I want to get to Jimmy's thoughts on this more broadly. Russia-style communism. Agree on more than we disagree on. Uh, and maybe people didn't previously see this. So I, I think it's a beautiful... We agree on more than we disagree on. Motherfucker, if you say you're a communist, it's a non-starter for MAGA people. When you hear people say things like, uh, oh, they're... Like when you hear them say, oh, Trudeau is communist, right? Yes. yes. They don't. They don't mean he's communist. They mean he's an authoritarian because... We were told that's partially we were, true. To be fair to Jimmy, 
um, they do associate communism with authoritarianism. So that's why they use communism as like a synonym for authoritarianism. So that's how they justify Joe Biden being called a communist, uh, even though he's the furthest from being a communist. He is a neoliberal. He is a capitalist. But they say that because, oh, well, he did like this uh, vaccine mandate and that's authoritarian. Therefore, he is communist. Now, I don't think that they're like really thinking this through that much, but I do think that there is this association from the right between communism and authoritarianism. So I think that Jimmy is actually correct there. I just, again, I want to point this out. If you could make Jimmy Dore and a stop the steal person look smart and intelligent because your niche pseudo political ideology is that fucking stupid, your grift is falling apart. Is it trending? Been trending for the past week. Yeah. But some of the comments are very, very negative. They're like, what are you talking about? When, and I'm not saying overall. And, and once again, bringing overall, the, overall, it's positive. I've seen. Some, uh, <laughs> well, first of all, a lot of. Uh, OK, so he's in safe ter territory, right? Like you go on the Jimmy Dore show, you're going to be safe, right? But he's getting a lot of pushback, not necessarily from Jimmy Dore. But still, you can tell that Jimmy doesn't really buy this. It, put it on Getter. And let's see if you get the same response that you do on Twitter. And we'll see. Most of the MAGA people are hanging out and get it. They've already left Twitter. So, you know, we'll see. Um, yeah, do that. Okay. So there it is. There's, there's, uh, we still have, so that's our definition of MAGA communism. I still don't know what communism is. They say it's <laughs> Marxism, but I don't think so. I think Marx was just, didn't, I mean, again, I'm not, I've read very Ugh. little, but, um, you haven't read Lenin, Jimmy? Come on. But correct. So you guys probably have read more than me. So it didn't Marx. All he did was really give a critique of capitalism. He didn't really lay out a new economic system. He just kind of critiqued capitalism so people understood what the F capitalism was, right? Am yeah, I wrong? As well as, as well as how we should view the world through the scientific lens of dialectical materialism. And I think that beyond anything else has taught us that if we have these common goals, then we should be uniting together on the common goals as a working class rather than fictitious party lines. Okay, I just somehow you're okay. You just you just completely contradicted what you said. We shouldn't be like working together along fictitious party lines. The MAGA movement is centered around Donald Trump, the former Republican president who's going to run to be the GOP's nominee in 2024. It's explicitly a party identity like the Republican Party and MAGA. These aren't necessarily synonymous, but they are very closely associated to be MAGA is to be the de facto, uh, the quintessential Republican now. So, I mean, when you have something like this contradictory, this incoherent, you you slip up very easily. Uh, and that's what we're seeing from Jason. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralist, woke moralist, woke moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.